What is up, everybody? Spidey here, and as always, I hope you're having a marvelous day. Have I got a surprise treat for you? My buddy messaged me and said, hey, I want to open up some Marvel Platinum tonight. Can we do it on your channel? And you know me, it's not hard to talk me into a good time. So I got Drew here with Gen Collects, Loot Box TV. What's up, dude? Not much, not much. You know, if I'm gambling or ripping anything, I got to hit you up first, let you know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Well, look, it's uh, it's good to be back on the screen with you. Uh, before we get into it, tell me, what has your experience been with Marvel Platinum up to this point now that we're what? Tomorrow will be two weeks this product's been out. So I've just watched a lot of breaks. This will be the first time I actually opened the product myself. Yeah. yeah. I told myself I wasn't going to do it, and then I started seeing everybody open. I was part of Brian's case break. Mm. I'm part of uh, Nathan's case break that's coming up. I I don't know. Some crazy people open like eight cases. <laughs> just watching that, and oh, then, you know. Bad influences. Those, those influencers. <laughs> Oh, yeah, those uh, social media influencers are a bad influence. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're not easily swayed, right? No, but I mean, the set looks good. The cards looked fun. So I, you know, I mean, I'm not buying cases. You know, I'm just going to open right. a couple boxes, just enjoy it. So uh, and then live vicariously through you. Love it. So you're going to open a couple of boxes for us tonight. Like, I know you're just wanting to enjoy it, but tell me, what are you looking for? Oh, I don't know. A lot of the art has been really good. And seeing some of the autos and stuff. So I just want to kind of, you know, not looking for anything in particular, but I just like to see like all of the cool cards that are coming out. So can I go ahead and claim the, the magics that come out? Yeah, of course. You all get right, first cool. dibs on, on any of the uh, magics that come out that you don't have in your collection. Good news. I have a decent amount, not like a ton, but a decent amount. So, yep. you know, the odds of you pulling one I don't have, you know, lower. But uh, I would claim Spidey, but, you know, that's a tough one to claim. Well, we'll see. If you need any, you know, you get first tips, as always. Look at that. Thank you, my friend. But before, I had a few cards that I picked up recently. Oh, so, show them to us. Wow. So uh, I believe these two were um, achievements. Wow, look at Thanos. That looks yep. really good. Thanos and a Robert Downey Jr. Nathan, what's up? Exquisite. Yep. What set is that from? Uh, I forget which achievement it was. Is that Black for. Diamond? Huh. I forget. I just probably. thought these were achievements, and I was like, oh, let me just grab them. They probably were... Black Diamond. I love it. Yeah. Well, let's say hello to some okay. people. we got D's here. Uh, always doing uh, the friendly gesture of reminding people to hit the like button. Thank you, mm -hmm. buddy. Mm -hmm. Chuck's here. How's it going, Chuck? Good to see you. Hello, hello. Brad Johnson. Hey, hey, what's up, man? How are you? Sandy. What's up, Sandy? How are you? Sebastian Schaefer says, hi, real estate. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> How's it going? Jeremiah Novak. Hey, man. Gin and juice. <laughs> uh, Kang. What's up, dude? Thank you for jumping on, hanging out with us. True Blue. Hey, He's got, I think it's, I think the case, is the case break like sold out or is there still spots? For I think True there might Blue be still stuff? some spots left. So make sure you guys. I went to look in the, in the characters I would want were already gone, but hey, True Blue, I'll tell you what. Let me know if uh, the Beyonder is available. Oh, interesting. Car drop. What's up, dudes? How's it going? It says good luck. VP. I know. I know. No, no, no porker, but. <laughs> yeah, no, it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible, terrible. Johnny's here. What's going on? The Rad Nate. Dude, what's up? 40 oh, 45 spots. spots. That's not bad. Jen, just buy them all. Let's be done. Sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Justin going long on Beyonder. Hey, look, I'm just having a little fun. He's cheap. Don't mess. He it could up. be. He, he could be your next character. You'd be collecting. Uh, I I think it's just fun <laughs> to maybe kind of put it together. You know. Uh, look at these dead. Uh, so these are Deadpool. These are uh, yeah. The, the what this is that cross, the Deadpool across America. Yeah. Oh, that it's is like cool. A, who's the who's the auto on that? Uh, I can't see it. Uh, hey, Nathan. It is. I'll check out. I'll check out that spot. If it's Dave Dorman. Oh, okay. Dave Dorman. Great. He's actually in this set too. Yep. And then <laughs> more of the dream. <laughs> so then, uh, you know, it's been crazy. So Dave and Adams also had another box break for uh, this, uh, the Marvel masterpiece. Yeah. And they pulled this for me. 
Are you serious? So I have three DeSantos autos. Two of them were pulled by Dave and Adams for me. Thanos and Black Panther. Wow. And those are great. How about a tier four Thanos? That's beautiful. Yeah. The first Black Panther came out of their like six box damage box break that they did. And then they did this one. Hey, Ryan and Kane, we know where our hits went. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the, what's the uh, serial number on that? Oh, that is uh, seven out of 10. Lucky number seven. How about that? Lucky seven. And then. Ooh. Did he Lady hit. Oh, that's. Yeah. Lydia. That was up for auction, wasn't it? Uh, someone had it up for sale. So I traded the um, storm achievement that I got from Fleer Throwback. Yeah. And 200 bucks for the Spider Man. So I think you did well. Uh, yeah. I was like, I was a little sad to let the storm achievement go. Right. But for a little bit of the Spider Man, I'll gladly so do that. So, are the sketches on the achievements, are they identified as an achievement on the back? Oh, actually, I didn't look. If they're not, I think you'd be great. Yeah. So, but I think they should identify. I think they might be identifiable. Yeah. But yeah, the chat's liking that one, man. All right. So, chat, should we start with left or right? Mm -hmm. which one left or right left or right are you asking me or which one are you feeling i mean get right or you get left so right it is right okay so it's a uh, achievement uh, identified on the front of the card okay cool there it is a way to tell it, yeah kane's got a point i mean it because you don't have the face with Spider-Man, it doesn't stand out immediately as a Lady Lee. Right. Because that's where she, you know, her brand kind of shows up over and over again. Yep. King says, great trade. And uh, Sandy says, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. So what's well, the craziest thing you've seen pulled? Well, I mean, I think people pulling one of ones out of retail blasters is just dumb. I saw a five of five Black Widow pulled online uh, the other day. Out of black, that to me, that's just crazy. I have not actually seen a sketch pulled, uh, but I know people have pulled them. Uh, you know what? I think I think I did watch the replay of Soul Collectibles pulling the beautiful uh, Scarlet Witch sketch. Uh, on Alonzo's channel, so maybe mm. sketches are nice, and apparently they are very hard to find. So if you can get it, oh, hey, listen to this, Justin. Allie mentioned you about some Spidey hits in her recent video. Who? I feel like I have arrived now. If Allie's mentioning me, that's really special. And Card Media, <laughs> yes, that is a Go XLR in the back. <laughs> All the Fleer throwback achievements are gone. Wow. Yep. That was that was a very expensive chase. Group. And blasters are still available in uh, UD. I mean, they're 20 bucks. You're, That's a good value. It's such, it's such a great value. I hope people don't go crazy and start trying to like resell them for money and all that kind of stuff. It's really cool. Yeah, we really want to see you pull a sketch. That's what we want to see. I would like that. Rainbow. Nice. Midnight Sun's Rainbow. So is this the first time you've had these cards in hand? Yep. Ooh, tell me what you think. I like it so far. At least the quality control seems to be better. Where yeah. the, you know they're better centered and yeah, I can't complain overall. Nice. Oh, that's a that's a that's a pretty one. Let's see. Purple what rainbow. Is... Oh, not numbered. Interesting. Yeah, the purple is not numbered. Um, your, your colored parallels, of uh, red, yellow, blue, purple, and black, I believe I got that right, are unnumbered with black being the shortest printed. Right. Basically one in 12 packs. So what are your thoughts about the whole air where the back says like yellow for the blue and the black and you know all the, I mean, the labeling is incorrect generally speaking i don't like it because like when you hit a black 
and it's labeled something different on the back, especially with the art variant cards, because that's the ones you're specifically talking about is the creator art variants. Right. Uh, those are already short printed and hard to hit, and the colored parallels are supposed to be more difficult. Yeah. How do you know the rate in which it's, it's coming out of the box? Is it the border color, or is it what it's labeled on the back? All right. You know, because if you hit a black, uh, creator art variant that's a very very difficult hit very very difficult but when it says blue on the back you know it was it was it really the odds of a black that, that's that's what i don't like for sure. so what's going to happen when uh epac comes out do you think they'll have it correctly labeled or will they just go followed by the so a lot of people don't know this but and I'm not saying this is every time, but the idea is that when we get the physical product in hobby boxes, Com C gets their bricks of the product. So it's not in a physical box it has to be opened. Right. They get bricks and it'll be every card of that type in a row. So every yellow parallel of, of uh, Aries, right. Or right. every one of one, like they're all in one container together. And that way, when you hit it, like it knows where it's at. Right. And what randomizes it is the is the barcode, serial number, whatever thing that's assigned to each card. Right. And so when we get the physical product, Com C in theory is getting the physical aspect of the product as well. And they're preparing it for upper deck EPAC. And so you know, the idea is that however long it takes them to do that, we have the physical product in hand and then it goes to EPAC. And then they have their reasons for delays whatever they may be you know but then will they uh, i mean i assume that it'll be listed correctly even though if the back of the card says something it different. should be listed correctly on epac and right. that's a great that's a great point um and i say correctly we'll we'll list we'll just assume that it's correct <laughs> you know it's and, definitely uh, a spidey kind of spidey channel a, wouldn't sorry, be i've given you the love there, wouldn't right? be uh wouldn't be a spidey hits without all of the spidey hit all of the Spideys coming through. I like that a lot. Sheesh. Um, you know, like Masterpieces, you say, well, why isn't it up yet? Well, I think, and I can't confirm this. No one's told me this, so don't take it as the gospel. But we know there were cards that we know exist from an art standpoint. They were taken by Upper Deck to be used in the set, but they were not in the physical hobby boxes. So I think they had to go back to print. Oh, you interesting. Print those cards, and that's the reason for the delay. Even, oh. even though, you know what I'm and so that that's that's what I think is happening there. I could be wrong. Also, think there was some uh, achievement stuff that they were putting together, Ooh. like like sketches and stuff. Wait, so if they went and reprinted some of the cards that weren't in the set, that kind of stinks for the people who bought like physical boxes if they weren't going to be well you don't have magneto you don't have jane foster you don't have phantom x you don't have kang you don't have loki oh boy you don't have green goblin there's a lot of them that it's not in the physical hobby box some of them show up on the mirage right but the idea of a mirage is that they take a number of the base cards and turn them into an insert through a mirage so we see the image, we know it exists, but a carnage is another one. Yeah. So those mm. need to be an EPAC. And the question is how they're going to put them in there, you know, it because is. they're, they're very clearly not a part of the one through 90 base set. That means they were probably going to be hologram. I mean, uh, um, hollows. What am I trying to say? Oh, like speckles, Miles things rainbow. Like ah, that. That's crazy if that's the case. Mm -hmm. Sandy's rooting for you. I know. Let's let's get a sketch. That'd be fun. We had enough of Kang in the Discord. We don't need him in MM 2022. <laughs> nice Adam Warlock. Black Rainbow. It, that's a great question, though. If Kang had been in, in, in Masterpieces, would Kang collect Kang? Is he even a fan Ooh. of... I mean... I would hope so. I would hope so. So everybody, if you're not paying attention, what Jen, Jen is doing is he's attacking the right side of the box, which we know is the dud side. But well, I would, is it? Is it though? It, it flip-flops. Right. It's different in, every case, in different cases. So 
my suggestion to you, Jen, would be not to open the last pack on the right side. Flip over to the left. Okay. Uh, I like Nathan's question. I kind of asked it earlier, but do you have a character you're most excited about from this set? Ooh. I know you like the ladies. The black cat. I do like the black cat. <laughs> what about that ghost spider? The ghost spider too, but I kind of like that TV look of the black cat. Kind of that old school wasp. There we go. For sure. Spidey. Hey. Oh, I hope that's a I hope that's a good sign. I like it. Squirrel girl. I don't know the squirrel girls in this set. Ah, I got a leader. Oh, leader. Nice. Enchantress. There's your rainbow of Iron Man. Nice Iron Man rainbow. Nice. Is that your blue or pur purple? Wait, I thought purple. you already hit a purple. I did. Interesting. Well, maybe you get to a box. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, purple rainbow. Nice. Because the black is the one that you get generally like one a box. Yeah, hopefully. Everybody, thank you for hanging out in this little surprise live with us. A super, super statistic Hulk. Statistic. Statistic. <laughs> that's, like a tongue, that's, a good, that's a good tongue twister right there. Say that 10 times fast. Uh, for the kid who took uh, speech therapy for saying S's, I don't know if that's a good thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> Super statistic. Got a nice beast, Charles Xavier. And the, and good the old jackal. Oh, yep. <laughs> All right, there's one pack on the right side, so we'll jump over to the yeah, left. Yeah, I would jump to that one. Let's see. Now, did you, or is this like a DNA purchase? Is this a local comic book shop? Uh, David you? Adams. David Adams. Mephisto. Havoc. Well, Ryan says he took speech therapy for S's too. Man, look, they didn't think we were going to make it, but look at us now. <laughs> there we go. By the way, I opened a case for Ryan last week on the channel or a week or so ago. And, uh, I had to ship his cars to him today. Have you ever have you ever dug a hole and you went to go fill it back in and you had more dirt than you had hole? <laughs> That's what it was like trying to put Ryan's hits back into the case that the cards came out of. Somehow he had more hits than I had box. <laughs> <laughs> it's sometimes it's weird. Yeah, it is. Like I've I've opened cards and packs and then put them back into the box. And then I realized, like, wow, the spacing is really weird. It's like the packs fit nicely, but then after you open them, the cards, for some reason, don't want to go back into the box nicely. Nice, yeah. Baron Zemo. Is this a blue Trex, I believe? Right. I mean, opening his case must be what it feels like for people to open That's Blasters. Because <laughs> Blasters have been having a ton of hits in them. Nice, Baron Zemo. Yeah. Mark Bagley, Baron Zemo. What has been your favorite character art in the set? So art far? wise, um, yeah. I mean, look, I I can't deny that you know a, a Bill Sinkevich magic is just incredible, right? Um, yeah, I really like that. Uh, right. Spidey wise, the 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 high series art mm -hmm. is really attractive to me. I think the Venom is incredible. Just as an old school '90s kid, um, uh, Cal Cacao's art in here is really good. He he uh, he knocked out a number of characters: Magneto, Storm, Colossus, just just unbelievable. That that reminds me, David Adams did a four box random break, and they pulled the 101 Cal Cacao auto, and they were just like, "Oh, it's a it's an auto, it's a Cal Cacao." It's like, "Oh, look, it's a one of one." And I'm just like, "Oh my god, guys, it's a wow. one of one." You guys, which be... character? Oh, I forget which one it was. Was that Storm? Was that early on? 
No, it was more recent. I think it was like a couple days ago. Oh, I don't know. I, we're trying to keep up with all the ones that have been pulled. And so, so I was just like, guys, you got to be a little bit more excited about the 101. Yes, you do. Especially the auto. Because that's the first time we've had, yeah. we've had one of one autos in our product. Um, and he's he's been in a lot of important sets. So he's he's oh, not nice. a new artist. Cat Rainbow. I really love what uh, Benjamino Brody has put into the set. Uh, with his art, ooh, yellow Thor, yellow red. nice. Yeah, Sandy, you're you're not wrong. Doom and Daredevil, I mean Doom and Magneto. Magneto got oh yeah, treated, that Doom art was great. Got treated right. Doom got treated right through this whole set, whether it's Palumbo's or Dave Dorman's uh, Creator Art variant is just awesome as well. Even the, uh, even, you know, the, uh, Doom is on one of the inserts for the Super Statistics, I believe. He's like at the balcony. It's, that's the cool card. Um, yeah, those characters, just they were treated right. Wolverine looks good in this set. Uh, yeah, I like does. I like the low series, but I also like the old man Logan in the high series. Um, it's just good stuff. Very good Spider Woman. Ghost Spider looks amazing. And Black Bolt. Invisible Woman looks amazing in this set. I really she's like not, she's Invisible. Not, she's not very invisible. I know, but I just love it. <laughs> I still love it. By the way, Alex Ross did an Invisible Woman painting that he posted on his IG account. Ooh. Probably on all of his socials. But her hand's in front of her like this. Mm -hmm. But her hand's invisible so you can see her face through face. her hand. Ah. It, you just see a, this, the the silt, like the outline of the invisibleness of her hand. Right. And then it's, it's that's, so good. There it is. Colossus. I love, uh, yeah, Andre Meister, his his art, this this Mr. Fantastic's incredible. The Silver Surfer's incredible that he has in this set. Um, this is a lot of good art. Is that his foot? His foot is serving him one of the, what do they call those? It's like a binky. What do they call Oh, it? yeah, the, the beakers and stuff. Beakers, yeah. yeah there we go. That's very, uh, that's very good skill right there, <laughs> for sure. So nice. they say one of the reasons why he's so intelligent is that he can stretch his brain. Hmm. When, isn't it better to have a wrinklier brain than a smoother brain? And then he can wrinkly it. Wrinkly it. <laughs> nice rainbow spider, man. Oh, what do you got here? A character I've not seen. Hey, you, so Annihilus, important character to Fantastic Four. Um, my buddy Marvel Cards Up posted the purple pixel of this, uh -huh. and it was incredible. Ooh. Looked really yeah, good. Yeah, the purple would really look good. So the one of one of this sold, there's there's more than one one of one. Okay, just follow along <laughs> the one the one of one base of this sold on ebay and you know how you when you check sold it it'll just say the price that it was listed at at the time of sale the best offer was accepted uh-huh so i went to tear peak to see what the actual sale was because it looked like it was said it sold for 2400 or something like that oh, i go wow. to tear peak that's what it sold for really which is in like Seems like a massive overpayment. Magneto in the white suit went for like twelve hundred. Huh. Like, who would pay that for a Nihilus? But there could be uh there could be a couple people out there. I don't know. I I, I it feels like somebody got sugar jump. happy, you know. Red skull and gore. That's a nice gore. So does it does Terra Peak confirm that it was paid? Yeah. Or that it just sold? Oh, interesting. Yeah, it was paid. Hmm. Just has anyone else pulled two autos in a hobby? I've been dying to know why and how and if it was a random box situation. I would say it was a random box situation. Two autos. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, Rogers here. What's up, bud? The Invisible Woman. Uh, Kane says Tear Peak doesn't get posted until payment goes through. Yes, huh. look at that. A good looking Invisible Woman. Yep. Good 
Good old Aries. Hey, the yeah. lizard. Yeah, it's a nice lizard. <laughs> Everybody's favorite hammerhead. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I, I'm just going to say every set should have at least one of these kind of cards in it. Like a hammerhead? Yeah, just to oh, no, balance it out. Well, I mean, because like our James Rhodes. Oh, James Rhodes, yeah. <laughs> yeah again. The Rainbow Rhodes. Um, the because we had him as kids in our packs. Oh, like, uh, yeah. Him. For me, it was Albert in Fleur Ultra X Men '97. It's the off-brand Great Value Wolverine. <laughs> it's like, why am I pulling another Albert? Oh, Who is this since character? Kang is here. Oh. Huh? Kang. Yes. Yes. It's a teal wave. It's all unfolding as planned. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> we'll pull in the rainbow and then we'll sell it to him as a set, a full set. So he doesn't have to go chase everything. Exactly. <laughs> no matter what you do, Jen, you will always end up right back here. On, <laughs> on the Spidey the Hits channel. <laughs> yeah. All timelines lead to this. I was wondering who Red Hulk. Yes, Gambit. Your brother's favorite? Yeah. I mean, how could it not be nice all about Rogue? Yeah. I mean, if you're a Gambit fan, how about, you know, the first appearance of Gambit, which is on the cover of the first appearance? Right. Yeah. It's great stuff. I just love watching Saturday morning cartoons and watching the X-Men and Gambit. By the way, with we get another Louisiana, with, with, yeah, yeah, I know with his Louisiana accent. Yeah, they were, uh, they were featuring uh, beignets pretty heavily in the first episode, which I loved. I'm a little Ooh. nervous about tomorrow's episode, though. Are you? Yeah, just the first two are so good. You know, classic kind of episodic shows. The next episode is going to be a, like a bridge episode let down. Mm. You know what I mean? You gotta have some of those filler episodes. It's not gonna it's not gonna move the story along. And I'm afraid like that's gonna be tomorrow. Ooh, what a Black Panther. Yeah, it is good. You saw that uh at the at, you know in the break in Miami at Steve's house, we hit the printing plate of that. And then uh Lewis hit you right up, I assume. I didn't hit it. I Steve hit it and then Lewis immediately traded for it. <laughs> that's Lewis for you I yep. figured you traded for it and he was like peace homies <laughs> <laughs> look at this Magneto isn't it so good it's, it's another uh, character that they do really well in, yeah. in, the, in the past couple sets Magneto has definitely done no doubt Mr. Done Collector, well. thank you for that car market media how's it going man Nice uh, rainbow leader. He's wearing, hey, at least he's got his cosmic shirt on. He does. Hey. Oh. He for the occasion. Spider Woman oh, yeah. Red. Nice. Mm -hmm. And, Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Dude, look at nice. you. Nice. Oh, okay. So this is the last pack on the left side. Left side. Yep. So this is probably your box hit. Mm -hmm. Your last card on the right is going to be a teal wave, more than likely. There goes. Look at the si Look at the science go. <laughs> I mean, after opening eight cases, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys have a good sample size. You have a decent sample size, but that's a great card. Wait till you turn it over. Twenty-two out of thirty-three. Nice. Nice. Congratulations, dude. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. So how many total cases have you opened? Personally, I uh, only yeah. opened one for myself, but uh, physically have I been involved with opening? <laughs> one, two, plus three and a half, so five and a half. As Steve would say, peck number 3,172. <laughs> <laughs> Who's keeping count? Yeah. Who's keeping count? Dude, congrats, Mr. Collector. That's awesome. Oh, nice. Congrats. Awesome. Good old thing. I like it. I like it. I like both uh, the that 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 Ron Lim thing and the Dave Palumbo version. Yeah. 
cable. Dave Palumbo posted some more art for sale today. Guys, got to jump on the OA Annihilus. He got the the Doom and Ghost Spider are gone nat- naturally. The 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 two of the better characters. Uh, All right. But Black Human Torch is gone, which might be the best art that he did, which is saying something because they're all great. Uh, but War Machine and Thing and I think that's it. Oh, are we going to go through and collect all of the Rainbow James Rhodes? Hey, as a community, we ought to make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, Miss Marvel. We could, we, could have, we could have the community rainbow. The James Rhodes Rainbow. Rainbow? Miss and then Marvel. we can auction it off for charity. Oh. Wouldn't that be fun? We need to we need to set up like a yearly charity auction. Well, I think I think MentalCon is that. We need to make it bigger every year. We need to make it bigger. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm I'm for it, and I I think you know like we take a character you know that no one wants right. Look at that, and Tail look wave. I told you it's a tail wave. That is a nice magneto. There you go. Wave. That's a really good one. But yeah, I think that uh, I think we together as a community put together that rainbow and then throw it over a mental con and let let it be auctioned off for charity for a good cause. Be fun. Yeah, True Blue says we're doing 48 hours. I'm saying we because I know it's a collective effort. Uh, but they're doing 48 hours nonstop this year for Mental Con. Mm, 48 hours. Wow. Mm-hmm. Incredible. All right. Off to box two. So should, oh, well, I don't know if these came from the same case. Ah. Um, it, um, most likely, they should be. Yeah. Boondock uh, Games said, any big hits yet? I would say the out of 33 Orange Carnage is the big hit so far. Good hits, and that's the big hit. Bam. Oh, oh Jen, you, you're covering 24 of the 48 hours. So just be ready. Uh, I could have sworn I put in for 40 hours of the 48 <laughs> Just give me a solid work week. Yeah. I heard I was getting paid pretty well, so. <laughs> All right. Good luck on your last box here. Although I highly doubt this is your last box. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so should, should I assume work? that the left side will be? Yes, because it's the same case. But so to open the first one on the right side, it kind of gives you the evidence. All right. <laughs> no take backs. That was a good box. I'll be streaming um, just all of Loot Box's old videos. That's it. For the 40 hours. Just start it and end it. Yeah. <laughs> Spider Woman. Like, why are we watching, you know, 2021 college box breaks? <laughs> <laughs> That's not even related to Marvel. What's right. going on? We got a nice rainbow Xavier. Luke Cage. A nice purple Luke Cage. Luke Cage is Mortal Kombat too, right? Uh, let's see. There's Luke Kang, Johnny C- Johnny Cage, Johnny the, Cage, uh, the the Wait movie me. actor, Johnny Cage. Just record yourself napping and loop it for twenty hours. <laughs> oh, you know we should do the thing where it's like people can donate and then it makes sound while you're sleeping. So it's like I can see <laughs> if you want to keep you awake. Hey, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a Johnny Luke Cage, Cage. I mean Luke Cage box. The Black Widow. Very not what you expect, Black Widow. No, but I kind of dig it. Yeah, it definitely. If I was a Black Widow fan, I'd be into it. All right, so now I guess assume just keep going to the 
You want to get this? What what was your hit? Probably the purple. Yeah. So yeah, an unnumbered. So if you want to get this, if you it depends on how you want to do it. You want to get the duds out of the way, or you want to rotate stud duds? No, get the way. get the duds out of the way. Stay right. Stay right. And save the last pack. Save the last pack on the right side. Whoa! What's going on here? Ooh. Uh, X Ghost eighty four says thank you for all your positive vibes, Spidey hits. Keep up the great work. Thank you. I appreciate that. You guys help me keep it positive around here. So I assume that the proper pronunciation is Namor. 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 <laughs> but the movie was like Namor. Because, anyways. Fin Fang Foo. No love, whatever. Uh, thank you again, Ghost, and our artist in this set, Benjamino Brady Brody, says best of luck. Thank you. Juggernaut. Sketching coming. I hope so. That'll be fun. Brother be Voodoo. Fun. That would be fun. That's a great card. I love the art on that. Nice, Mary Jane. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> there he is again. There he is. He uh, makes an appearance in every box. <laughs> Excuse me. Nice little red hammerhead. <laughs> wouldn't be yeah. a wouldn't be a Spidey opening without a hammerhead. No, you gotta have you gotta have it. At least <laughs> one. Ooh, nice Wolverine. Yeah, I really Some like statistic. this one. Fighting Sauron. How did I not notice that, Kang? Uh, I'll I'll send them all to you. Never fear. Whoa. <laughs> uh, Clutch says sick carnage rip earlier. Love the house tour, Spidey hits. Keep up the great content. Absolutely. Thank you guys. Uh, look, um, I really appreciate the super chat. And, you know, putting up that video just, just made me realize how much more I, I just want to show the, the best side of this hobby as much as I can. We've got a lot of great people, different scales of collections and things like that. Right. So the only way that Justin can do that is you guys got to make sure you like the video, you're subscribed, <laughs> and then you got to share it on every platform you can find. <laughs> well, you know, look, that's, that's to honor Steven. You know, he's put, obviously... He, he he's collecting at a different level than than the majority than all of us. Yep. Yeah. But um, but he's been at it for years, years, and he was doing it privately for years, and he actually did a mini Marvel art uh, gala in Miami, and one of the people in our community stumbled into, it and he's like, "Hey, there's actually a bunch of us, you know, a bunch, you know, being relative, a bunch," and he didn't know it. And that's ah. how he got introduced to the com community last year. And so now, he, now a lot of people recognize him and know him, obviously, but he was doing it alone by himself for a long time. Now he doesn't have to. Well, he has enough art to put up his own gallery. Oh, yeah. I mean, he calls so. it the, the, <laughs> the, the Lakeside Archives, I think is what he calls it. Mm. Oh, nice, Black Star. Yeah, that's right, gang. Kurt Cuber did... For us 90s kid, he's about the best at Wolverine. Nice black rainbow. <laughs> For a black star. Ryan, Ryan says, definitely sending bulk to Kang. <laughs> <laughs> right, Raj? <laughs> yeah. Look, I know it was a Marvel car tour, uh, but the Lord of the Rings painting by Hildebrandt of of uh, of Gandalf giving the ring is just incredible. Uh, MTV is going to bring back MTV cribs featuring Marvel houses. Just don't visit Puff Daddy's crib. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was I was mad that I was in Miami this weekend. I was like I was too close. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to be there. Uh, what a terrible situation that is. He's got more art than he can even put on the walls. And he's still I know. That's what I said. He needs a bigger house because that room is not big enough. In, in time. In time. He's working on it. This, he lives in Florida, so there's not many houses with basements at all. No, so he doesn't. There's no a, basements. Yeah, that would have that been the perfect to have a nice little basement just like a, mm -hmm. as an art gallery. 
Bowling if there's out. a big hurricane that shows up, we all need to go down there and board up the house and help them. We cannot let that art get hurt. We'll we'll evacuate everything out of that house. Exactly. I'll bring my I'll bring a truck. Nice Jean Grey rainbow. Yeah, casual black lotus. Yeah, we were just we were just you know. Whatever. Yeah, I was really excited when I saw like his little glass showcase of all of the sealed magic product. I just got very giddy. Hey, there we go. It, Oh, very nice. Cool. Now you're building your little rainbow here. Oh, um, yeah, I right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, um, the reason, the reason I put us talking about the back, the black Lotus at the end of the video was because I, I didn't want people who understand what that card is to think that we just glossed over it. Right. But it's a Marvel card. But I still wanted to show it love at the end because it is quite possibly one of the most special trading cards, you know, for genres. Uh, Jeremiah Novick with the super chat. Thank you so much. He says, going to match ghost and clutch and raise you five. Wow. Thank you. Uh, not, you don't have to do that, but I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. Thank you so much. I, I assume Steve is very excited when the crossover of magic and Marvel is going to happen. Yeah. By the way, do you realize what you just hit? Yeah. The, that was uh, the oh, oh, oh. Yeah, go back. <laughs> Read the bottom. Oh, cr oh, creator art variant. Wow. Yeah. That's a that's a nice hit. They like to sneak these in here. I forgot. You gotta be careful. <laughs> hey, I actually have my house bids up. I just didn't call them Marvel Card Cribs because it feels kind of self-grandiose and Trust me, after doing after doing Michael's house and Stevens, I I don't know that I, that I want my house to be my collection to be seen in that light. I'd be like, here's my cabinet of cards. <laughs> but uh, an eighty. But nice. yeah, I do have various videos where you can see see my tour of my two rooms. Well, I think you redid your room, didn't you? Recently, I am I am in the process, process. of doing it. Yeah. So that just means that we get to see you do another room tour after I, I will up. I have um I have kind of the tearing down of the room and then the progress stops so <laughs> uh chick-fil-a money is exactly right 100 percent. thank you somebody just bought me dinner and lunch oh 180 packs by the way it's like a bonus hit it I is it. so save this one uh, I would save that one because sometimes it's either on, on either side. Left or right. All right. But I think Let's I think it. in light of the last box, you'll go right and then left. Okay. When we get to the end. Uh, Marvel guy says no surfer on creator art variants of the Galactus. That's true, but there there is a surfer variant, creator yep. art variant. Better Ray Bell. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, uh, Clutch. You're not wrong. He goes, Welcome to my Marvel card crib, but all you see on the wall is nothing but magic the gathering cards. <laughs> when he says that. Uh, but I will say there was more Marvel than magic, but dollar for dollar wise, uh, he had a lot of money tied up in magic. Thank you. I appreciate that. Joe Joy says, I got Marvel posters you can put up, <laughs> trade you for cards. <laughs> <laughs> They take up too much space. That's why I don't have a bunch of posters. Framing original art takes up a lot of space. Uh, I don't have it enough does. wall you, space. You're, you're learning. You're learning. So, uh, yeah. Jeremiah Novak says, well, we all love you guys and everyone here in the chat. We have an awesome community that shows nothing but love. Man, I appreciate that. And uh, I want to be a part of that. That's what. Hey, Taylor Swift. Whoa. Nice. Is that numbered? Yep. 56 out of 399. Yellow spotlight. So I gotta oh, sell this before the hype, right? Yeah, before while the end of the hype. While, yeah, while everyone thinks that sh that Taylor Swift is gonna be Dazzler seller, and then but it's see like, what happens. Why like why? Um <laughs> if, if if you're only buying to flip. And everyone's only buying to flip. You're holding only cards that are going to drop in value. Right. There's got to be an in collector. 
there's got to be an end user who wants those cards. Such a good storm. It is so good. And the idea that uh, that the movie is going to somehow, let's say she's in it, and let's say it's a big moment, and it's what people want. It it's not going to make trading card collectors, yeah, out of it. <laughs> the trading card collectors are already here and have the characters they like, and so it's not going to move the the needle enough. Um, Dazzler's a fun, attractive character who has has good art. She has a history in X Men. But she's never going to rise to the level of, say, like a ghost spider, right? Who's got a whole generation of fans behind her. Um, or even characters like Jean, in my opinion. So uh, the, the idea of buying cards like Dazzler for spec to sell, it's such a fool man's game. Don't do it. Yeah, Steven has so many lotuses. He does. He's like, well, I mean, well, at, well, at OACON, he just brings out his alpha play deck and he's just like, yeah. And I'm just like, oh, okay. There's power nines and, <laughs> you know, oh, well. Right. Raj, you're so funny. Uh, Matt wasn't alone. Uh, we literally had kind of an assembly line as we were opening those cases, as we were sorting cards. <laughs> you know, we were doing our best to do a decent, you know, sorting of base rainbow. Uh, unnumbered parallels and numbered parallels. And then they were in the background immediately sleeving and cataloging them into, into, into binder sleeves. Um, and then when we turned the cameras off, we started trading. Uh, we're talking about the Deadpool movie. There's rumors that Taylor Swift is going to portray Dazzler or some character in Deadpool. And, and that, that's why people are. Bum, bum. Nice. Hey, okay. Kent, what Swifties are buying trading cards? Oh, yeah. Spidey hit. Sorry. I know. 199. 101 yeah, out of 199. Too. And you got the regular red earlier. Yep. It's a great image of Miles. Yeah, I don't know any Swifties that are buying uh, trading cards. But who knows? Maybe they'll introduce a whole new market of people to Marvel cards. I still, uh, I just think it's the wrong way to think. About I know, I know. It. I think, I think people have to couple an experience and memories to become collectors. So, <laughs> beyond her. So, what if she is in the movies, and what if there were they were going to do movie trading cards, right? Mm -hmm. And for every one in a hundred cards that are given, one of them is actually a Taylor Swift variant of Dazzler. Well, now what have you done? You created an experience with the card, with the fan of the, the actress and, and the character. Now you might, they might actually dive into the, the hobby at that point. But if it's just watching the movie and somehow she's on there, no, I don't think that happens. Iceman. I mean, silver surfer. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I, like I, like I, I need to leave these, you know, at least one of these comments in every video so that no <laughs> one else still watches it back. He'll be like, God dang it. The watcher. Yeah, ghost. Definitely a color match. I'm going to get Andre to do the artist on the watcher there. I'm going to get him to do me a magic. Um, I'm very Ooh. excited. Yes, By the way, your sketch was great. Oh, well, you were, you're very like with you, like you said, very limited supplies, but still, yeah. you eked out a very good sketch. Well, it was my first magic, um, and I was pleased with it, uh, given the circumstances. You know, I was delayed almost five hours, I know. so I I landed in Miami at six fifteen. I didn't get to Steve's house till closer to seven. I was back in the airport at ten thirty a.m. the next morning. <sighs> So everything you saw, saw, me opening all those cases, me recording the content for the tour, all and then you know sleeping and showering, all happened within that time frame. You um, had uh, you had not so great luck flying into Florida. Uh, yeah, it's, well, it's had, this is the second time you've been delayed. Like it's it's just the state of the world now, man. Did they, was it weather related or was it in just... Miami? Miami has some type of weird oh, weather, weather going coming on. through. Yep. Ah, tail wave running the accuser. Yeah. 
What's up, Destructive Collectors? How's it going? Plus, says, Spidey, what did you think about X-Men 97 turning Scott's lasers back to what it was portrayed as in the comics prior to the live action movies where it was more cutty? Um, I really liked it. I always felt like as Cyclops developed as a as a mutant, that he could really he could he could manage the 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 amount of power his blast gave out. It could go from a from a hit to a cut. It could go from a low power blast to, you know, you know, cut through, you know, a whole building blast if he needed to. And so I've I've always kind of felt like as the, as he got more powerful and, and more in control, he could do that. Uh, so I like it. It if you've ever watched the X Men uh, anime show, do you know what I'm talking about? Uh. Uh-uh. There's an anime version of X Men. Oh, really? It's been around for a long time. Huh. It felt it had some of that vibe. It had a little bit of an anime vibe, you know, um, which I liked. Uh, I really did. Standing Moonstar. Yeah, so good. Do you, do you see? <laughs> You see the background? Yeah, the 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 bear in the background. Mm-hmm. Uh, perhaps if her auto gets put into packs, it will bring them in. L- let me tell you, yeah. autos is a different story. Uh, if there are auto cards, there will be a tremendous amount of fandom over that, but that's not going to make people Marvel card fans. Fans, yeah, they're just chasing the autos. Yeah, hundred percent. Ooh, very nice. Killing the red, yeah. dude. <laughs> Save the ice man. <laughs> yeah, mm. that's can't go wrong with a red Wolverine. What Marl? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, comic. Uh, I don't know if this will go. I don't know if I go for this for a blaster or two or wait for retail Midnight Suns. Um, I, I haven't seen retail Midnight Suns, so I would, I would. Not wait if you can grab this can't for the wait, price of 20 bucks, I'd do it. Nice time doll. Yeah. Yeah, the black lotus is. <laughs> hey Jen, Justin only breaks cases on this channel now, so go get 14 other boxes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we have standards here, Jen. You gotta keep them. All right, so you got two packs left. Is that what I'm looking at? Yep. All right, you're going to go right first and then left. Is that what we decided? Yep, right to left. Swift fans have literally been buying jerseys of DeAndre Swift just for the name on the back. I wouldn't doubt them buying Dazzler cards if she was actually. But but that has an experience tied to it because she's at the game. There's a memory associated with it. So I agree. if they create that, I do agree. I do agree. Ah, Grandmaster. Like it. Got a nice Hawkeye. Yeah. So I see your comment. We're on the the last box of two, and we're on the the last two packs. Oh, Typhoid Mary. Blue Charles. Blue Charles. Are you going to do the sports thing? Let's see the side. Is that blue on blue? It's like a teal wave. Yeah, teal wave. Oh, that's your teal. Okay. Yep. Multiple, man. Mm, got it. All right. So your so our box hit is going to be your other pack. Ooh, nice iconic covers. I mm, like that one. That was the first iconic covers I, I pulled, if I remember correctly. Uh, your girl, Dark Phoenix. A great image of Dark Phoenix. I love that. Uh, by the way, everybody, Soul Collectibles, the man who I was talking about earlier who pulled a sketch out of a pack. And a beautiful from, from just one box, right? From, yeah, and if my if I heard the story correctly, it's the one that Alonzo passed on. <laughs> hey, you know what? He, he he once got a box that a friend of ours in the community, Billy, uh, watched passed, on. passed on that pulled the AF fifteen. So he knows he knows, he knows. give and take in the hobby. Yeah, it's uh Sometimes your buddy wins. Now that he passed that off, next box he opens, he's going to pull an absolute banger. Dude, Lonzo's one of the best uh, pack losers in the community in terms of pulling hits. Okay. I don't, I don't think there's a sketch. That's the luck, my so, friend. Ergo? 
Well, it's very interesting to see a planet with a with a beard with like a little little mustache. Ego. <laughs> you, you said ergo. Yep. <laughs> I love it. But, yeah. All right, nice let's roll. go. Nice, Doctor Strange. Okay. We got saber tooth. Here we go. Should be your color and parallel. Oh no, rainbow. rainbow. Yeah. Oh, Malekith. Uh uh. Okay. Is that red. Yeah, this should be your just your parallel. Okay. And Jane next should be your hit. Oh, it's another orange. Another, okay. So you either get an auto or a card numbered under 50. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Wait a minute. We're, we're quarterback bros now. I got quarterback. Same thing in my second box. I pulled an <laughs> orange quarterback. Oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm twinning with a lot of people. Well, <laughs> uh, uh, let's go back on to Dave and Adams and uh, pull up another 14 boxes, I guess. I mean, we'll, that, we'll, we'll gradually fill up the case. We'll, we'll, we'll gradually do two boxes at a yeah. time. Exactly. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, nothing yeah. beats a 30. All right, so, Jip, Jip, by the way, if you if you go by Jip, you're going to get boxes of Jippy, right? Like, that's mm. that's what happens. He said had the most epic box today. Two Modoc numbers and a purple Hercules. <laughs> that oh, is actually no. a crazy box to get all that in one box. <laughs> Assuming that they were low number, but they were just regular, you know, then maybe not so much. So two boxes, two oranges. Um, hey, well, the carnage is nice. The nice. carnage is really nice. I was hoping you were going to get another good one, my friend. That's okay. You win some, you lose some. So Dio Six says, "What if they gave away packs at the premiere of the movie with that <laughs> autos? The movie, yeah. I mean, uh, that would be fantastic if that happened. Um, if they gave away like somebody posted it here, uh, you know, like if they did a costume, like pieces of her costume, if she's in the movie in the cards, they just." Um, Marvel does, Studios just does not make that stuff available anymore. That's why you don't see it in in the other MCU sets. It's because oh, they you're talking about eat. like the memorabilia pieces. Yeah, they don't let that go anymore. Uh, I think they plan on building like a museum with it one day, uh, which hmm. makes sense. But it would be nice if we did. Uh, <laughs> All right. So, how many, how many, how many likes uh, does this video need to get for me to get my another two boxes? Um, set a goal. Set a goal, Justin. I I think if we could get fifty likes, I think fifty likes is a lot while we're live. Oh, I that's, meant overall. Like, let's say oh, in a oh, week's like, time, or oh, like set a set a time frame and a and a goal. And if we get if he gets a, a if he could get hundred and fifty likes by next. Wednesday morning. So what? That's a week from now. That's a week from now. On the third. That's very light. Like, that's very. I feel like that's super doable, isn't it? A week. Well, because I want you to do it. Oh, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say you gotta. How you many to... sub? How many subs does Justin have right now? <laughs> Maybe we'll have to set a sub goal. Uh, I tell you what. I'm at 69.53. How about if I get to to 7,000? Okay, if you do 7,000, I'll grab another couple boxes of Marvel right. stuff. 7,000 by next Wednesday morning. Jen gets two more boxes, comes on, and we sell Or them. two boxes and some other boxes. We'll see what's available. <laughs> you know me. I, I know, know you. I, I like well, to I gamble. You, man. <laughs> oh, I love, all right. I love this idea. Ooh. Everyone sign in with a second account and hit the like button. Oh, man, dude. Uh, thanks, bud. I appreciate that. We, we just need like 50 people to make a separate, uh, another account. And then, uh -huh. you know, just sub <laughs> to your channel and get them up to 7,000. 
I hear you. I, I like it when they're kind of, I call them true subs, you know, I, yeah. uh, I've actually worked really hard to, I want the foundation of the channel to be people who, you know, want to watch these videos and enjoy them and be a part of the community. And that's really important to me. So what else are you, what are you, what else are the products are you excited about? That's coming out soon or yeah. I mean, it's I'm coming still, out. I, look, I'm very much still in the middle of platinum. I'm still obviously uh, working on the rainbows that I got going of characters with uh, the high series Spider-Man and, and magic. Um, if I think flair is up next and that'll be a fun set uh, overall. Uh, but if I'm being like really transparent and I, and I want to be careful how I say this because uh, I do think that I, you know, created some, hype around spider-man metal that like it was a reflection of what i felt about the product and how what i was looking forward to and i think it ended up uh having what i would consider a kind of a negative outcome uh in terms of people being over hyped about it so i want to be careful and say i am i am excited about avengers metal um yeah i've i've got i've got product order from that and i'm excited about it that will probably be the big the next big set that i'm looking forward to seeing Look at this. Uh, Justin's this moving the Marvel market. Stop it. No. That's not... <laughs> uh, I know. I know. I, I don't want to get to where I can't just talk freely here, you know? You, you then it, but you then should, it becomes... I mean, you shouldn't have to worry about that. I feel like you, you know, generally are just very transparent and open. And I feel like a lot of the things you talk about either come from a place of like, mm -hmm. just like your personal excitement about an upcoming set, not necessarily to trying to say like, Oh guys, this is gonna be the next greatest yeah. and best set. And then you hoard like 16 cases and then you start yeah. selling them after prices start to double and you're like, oh, you know, and so it's like I, I, I literally kept it all. <laughs> it's so it's like <laughs> uh, I, 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 I needed to sell, but I was still busy buying. Um, but the thing is, is like what happened with Spider-Man Metal is was the anticipation, it was the long wait. Yeah, right. And I got you know, it became kind of a part of my, you know, stick, you know, part of my, uh, part of the channel. Right, right. The, the reason the Marvel show podcast was born was because we didn't have any product to open. They like, still want to put out content. still want to talk about Marvel. Yeah. But there wasn't anything to talk about. And so the conversation just became, well, what are you looking forward to? Or what are you anticipating? And what, you know, like, and it was, for me, it was Spider Man Metal, and that went on for you know roughly almost a year. I know because oh. it was it kept getting delayed and delayed, delayed and delayed, and then that created more like did it created more right. anticipation and more hype. And, and then there was like a lot of like rumors about like what could possibly be in mm -hmm. there, and then well, we were all talking we... about the the PMGs. They had to redo all the PMGs, and there was like talks about like how you know, Upper Deck didn't like how the original PMGs came out. So they went back to the original mm -hmm. PMGs and then they had to redo all of that. And everyone was kind of like, I think that, I think that long delay created like that bubble where everything kind well, of like was growing. Coupled with, coupled with the COVID prices. Yeah. So when you have these high COVID prices, you have these anticipated dollars, right? That don't have other products to spread it out in. It all went into metal. and to Spider-Man metal. And for me, 230, 250 a box, I was okay with it. You know, I was out at any price above that on my boxes. I was very transparent with that from the beginning because I pre-ordered early at every single opportunity I had a chance early on. Right. And then, you know, still to this day, the most viewed live video that I've done on this channel was whenever I said, I'm not doing EPAC. As much as I anticipated Spider-Man metal, as much as I planned for it, I bailed on EPAC because of the price and encouraged yeah. everyone to do the same. Right. Um, and it still sold out in 30 days and people did what they did. And I kind of learned something. What I learned is people tend to tune into these kind of channels, your loot box channel as well, to hear what they want to hear, to just have a confirmation of what they want to believe is true. Right. I made the right decision. I have the right card. I'm doing the right thing. You know what I mean? Right. The moment it turns into, hey, actually, you shouldn't do that. The masses as a whole just tune it out and do what they want to do anyways. <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 
And but at least if they come to like your channel and they see you open a product and you give your honest review and then you say like, hey, if EPAC is anywhere near these prices, I'm just not in it because I don't think that that's the price that it should be. I feel like, you know, it gives people a fair view of like, oh, if, you know, Justin's not here just pushing people to spend mm -hmm. all of their money buying, you know, EPAC at whatever price. Right. He's saying like that's way too overpriced. It shouldn't even be at that price for for you know digital base and some physical cards that you can get back later you know it, it's nice to know that if they come to your channel and watch anything that you talk about it's going to be like from a you know collector standpoint and also a non-biased yeah, as much as you love spider-man metal you never oh. push to you know have people spend there's, all of that crazy money on epec and obviously mm -hmm. there'll be people who will there's there's no true unbiased person i mean that that's a that's a farce, right? Like, um, I'm I'm an excitable person. Like, I get excited about stuff. Yeah, that's not a reflection of what you should spend your money on. <laughs> right. That's just me enjoying it, and I and I'm going to do that. And as much as I can create it, I'm I'm going to create a space where I can do that without having to feel like I'm not supposed to, right? Um, but it's it, it's. What happened with Spider-Man Metal, in, in as far as I can tell, is that excitement did bleed into people making decisions because they thought they were going to make money. You, and really, you, you think people took that and kind of ran with it, like, oh, I do think so. I, I do think to so. To some degree, because, because if I pull something and I enjoy it, it doesn't mean that you're going to be able to sell it for two or three hundred dollars, right? You know, um, and, you know, on this channel, you know, we, you know, I don't post, I don't generally post like prices and stuff of cards. Right. Um, but it, people still kind of come to their own conclusion about it. And, uh, and, then, and I'm, and I'm connecting this to things that you don't see on the channel, which are the DMS that I get, right? you know, and, uh, I tell you, um, I've, the discord has been really helpful because, a lot of the questions I used to have to answer in my DMs, the Discord takes care of it. Yeah, there's so much, there's people in there that are far more knowledgeable and smarter than me that can answer the questions that people have, right? Uh, but generally, the you know the questions were like, "Hey, man, what do you think this card's worth, or should I buy? It? What do you think it'll be worth in the future?" You know, it's kind of that aspect of it, and I and I get it, I understand it, um, but it's just not. It's just, it's just not who I want to be in the space for you. I don't, I don't want to be the guy telling you what you should buy and when you should sell and all that kind of stuff. I just want to enjoy it and have a good time with you. And if you see it and you like it and you enjoy it, great. Um, if you can't afford it or get access to it, I hope you get to enjoy it here vicariously through the conference. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing that uh, when we went to Cards HQ, uh, one of our fans for Lootbox TV says, you know, he enjoys watching our stuff. He watches us open prison basketball. And then every time he gets an inkling that he wants to spend that kind of money, he just watches one of our videos, see how we get our butt handed to us uh -huh. in the product. And then it turns him off from it. And he's just like, you know, I, I'll just watch you guys, you know, spend the money, burn through it so right. that I don't have to. And it's just like, that's exactly the kind of environment we want to create. We want to give you the experience of open. Yeah of opening of seeing us open the product but then also for you to make your own informed decision was that worth yeah. you personally opening a buying a box for six hundred dollars to open for us we can justify it as saying like hey we love the cards the art you know we want to do the chase and everything and that's fine but it may not be for you and like we always tell our audience too it's like hey if you mm -hmm. like the character just buy the singles it's it's much cheaper you don't have to run the risk of gambling and the money you would have spent maybe buying that one card. Imagine how many boxes you would have had to open, <laughs> <laughs> you know, how many cases you might have to open to, to maybe not. Did you guys pull any cosmics in the, in the live? Yeah. When you, how, yeah, how they, many? I think three. I so think there three. You go. I like cosmics. Yeah. So um, imagine like you're trying to chase a cosmic, let's say, like you said, the cosmic magic. Imagine yeah. if you didn't, 
like physically go out and buy the single card, how many cases do you think you'd have to run through? And you, how much more be, money would that be than just buying the single? You know? Although I will say I did. <laughs> you got really lucky. I got really <laughs> lucky because I got magic in the case break for Brian and he pulled, yeah, it, for me. And he pulled it for you. But uh, I was like, wow. Yeah, but the odds are very, very low. Um, no, look, I mean, I sold, I mean, yesterday, I think I sold. I made a really big purchase this weekend on a couple of cards. And so I needed to recoup some funds pretty quickly. Um, and yeah, I mean, I sold a card for 525, 325. Um, I can't remember all of them. I put up a bunch of stuff yesterday and they sold pretty quickly. And, and I'm really grateful for that, but I'm not going to, that's not going to be the content I'm going to make. Right, um, right. You know, it's just, it's just not, so I got to get to a couple of these. Um, uh, hey, Andrew. Love you, man. Miss you. Hey, all was just thinking about how I miss Tuesday night Spidey chats. Happy to catch you live. That Jen created this. This is kudos to him. Just, yeah, just all random. Yep. Yeah. He, uh, he he messaged me. He's like, when you want to open my boxes on your channel? I was like, tonight while the wife's in the tub. Let's do it. Destructive <laughs> uh, says I use these channels as both entertainment and statistical. There you go. I love yeah. it. Um, we just want you like guys to make informed decisions for yourself by watching us open the product and then you decide is yeah. it worth it or is it not. Never feel like because we're excited or we're hyping up a product, don't feel like we're pushing you to buy it. You know, we like it because yeah. we like it. Yeah, but that's my point. My personality is uh, is a natural kind of excitable. Yep. Uh, the word hype is overused, but you know, you know what I mean. Uh clutch, message me on Instagram and I'll be happy to send you the Discord link. Uh, Jeremiah says, buy what you love, not what others love. Exactly. That Manu would, Manu would tell you, just focus on what you like and what you want. And you're just counting on the fact that there's someone else out there that does as well. And then it's the same thing. It's like buy the card, not the grade. Mm -hmm. Like when you're buying like any graded oh, yeah. cards and things like that. So, uh, RMS says everyone, good evening. Miss these Tuesday night lives with Spidey hits. Oh guys, you're going to make me blush. I miss you too. Um, Jeremiah. Oh, uh, you know, everyone spam Justin's DMs Tuesday nights. Bring them back. <laughs> uh, no. it, it, with, as you know, I've taken on another hobby. Definitely, yep. And it takes up my, my Wednesday nights, Thursday nights, my Saturdays, and sometimes Sundays. And so I can't take up another night from the family to, to be live. That's that's what's happening. Uh, too late. I mortgaged my dog's house to buy a box of platinum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Because you, because uh, you haven't sent me the multiple man, <laughs> and the multiple man is cool. Will be, will there be an equivalent AF fifteen cuts for Avengers Avengers Metal? A uh, DS six, I did not see that, so I, I, I don't know the answer to that uh, that question. Mm -hmm. I don't remember seeing that on the sell sheet. Um, I do think the AF fifteen that they cut up, like they've talked about in the past, it had a really clean cover, but I think the back pages were not great. Like it might have not have been a complete book that they cut up into comic cuts and we've seen them in Me Avengers metal. I mean, uh, Spider-Man metal. We've seen them in beginnings as well. So I feel like that's all of them. And I don't think they're going to be buying another one anytime soon. I could be, be wrong. Um, Sandy says, always love Justin's content, family friendly. Ha ha. Well, that's, that's intentional. Uh, glad to see Jen doing some Marvel Juice spending too much time with Lady Luck. <laughs> <laughs> Juice Juice is a busy man. He wears multiple, very yeah. many multiple hats. So yeah. he would yeah. definitely be joining us if he could. Really enjoy Juice. Very, very much appreciate him. Um, well, look, uh, guys, we're at an hour and 13 minutes. I don't think Jen on the East Coast wanted to stay up till midnight, but here we are. Oh, I don't mind at all. <laughs> but, um, but I do need to go if that's yeah. all right. I really enjoyed it, man. Thank you. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll schedule something else soon. Hey, look, we get well, to 7,000 subs by Wednesday morning next week. You're going to buy some boxes and come back and open them on the channel, right? Uh, yep, I will. I'll, I'll prepare the boxes now because I know we'll get there. So oh, I'll, uh, I'll let you up to schedule <laughs> it. <laughs> All right, I'm looking forward to it. Everybody, thank you for watching. Do me a favor and hit that like button if you haven't already done so. Make sure to follow Jen on Instagram and at Lootbox TV, although I know you probably are, but double check. Um, yeah, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this in the future. It is coming. But as always, I hope you have a marvelous day.